Hi, my name is Ammar Kuki. I'm Vice President of uh, Electromagnetic Works. Welcome to IMS 2012. Today I will give you a brief presentation about uh, EM Works and our flagship product, HF Works. Uh, the company EM Works specializes in electromagnetic uh, simulation software. We do this for low frequency and high frequency. We solve uh, problems from basic physics, so we solve Maxwell's equations, we solve them for low frequency and for high frequency. Uh, we're based in Montreal uh, and we've been in business uh, since the late 1990s. Okay? So uh, without further ado, I will uh, quickly show you what makes our products uh, distinct. What we're demoing today is uh, HF Works. Uh, it's high frequency uh, a high frequency uh, electromagnetic simulator. The distinctive feature of our product is that they are all embedded inside SOLIDWORKS. So for modeling purposes, for CAD, we use the SOLIDWORKS engine. And for simulation, we use our technology which is embedded in SOLIDWORKS. So uh, this is an example of a, a, of a, a waveguide transition. You can see that it's built inside SOLIDWORKS. It's a full, complete module. Uh, SOLIDWORKS allows you to, uh, to, to basically design or draw any complicated structures. And inside HF Works, we have the ability to analyze these types of structures. So how does this work? Basically, without ever leaving SOLIDWORKS, what you would do, you would come to your assembly and you study it, you make a study. And you have three types of analysis options that you can go through, either as parameters, resonance or antennas. You define your study uh, name, properties, frequency range, etc., etc. And when you're ready, you hit the check mark and a new study gets created. Okay, so this is my new study. Okay? The analysis process is very simple and very quick. Three steps, materials, you have to define materials for all your parts, boundary conditions, and mesh. Okay? Once these three steps are done, you are ready to run. So I will show you how these things are done. So this is a study that has been completed. I've done the, uh, the material definition. I've done the boundary condition, different ports, perfect electric conductor, and I've created the mesh. So this is my mesh of the model. Once I've done that, I went ahead and solved the problem, and I generated results. So I have electric field plots in vector format. I can look at it in section format, or I can look at it in ISO format. I can go ahead and animate this and examine how my structure is working. And we can see in this case, we have a good design because this transition, there is no reflection, virtually no reflection in this design. Now, once you've done all of these things, you can also go ahead and plot your scattering parameters. You can plot them in Smith chart or in 2D plot. You can look at your data in list view or in plot view. And once you've done all of this, at the end, you can go ahead and generate reports. So this is a, 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 a unique feature, a quite nice feature, where you define your report. You can generate reports in HTML or in Word. In, in this case, I'll go ahead and show you a Word report. Once I hit OK, okay the software goes and automatically captures all the figures, okay, all the results that were generated. And as you can see, it gives you your, your Word report inside SOLIDWORKS. So this is Word, but you are always working inside SOLIDWORKS, inside HFWORKS. If I wanted to edit this, I would just go ahead and say, you know, this is, this is my first example. Okay? And you can go down to your results, for example. And you can be editing your pictures, cropping them, adding text to them. You, are, you have the full functionality of Word, but you are always inside this SOLIDWORKS tool. Now, the last bit of information I want to show you is a, a new feature where, let's say, you want to make a design and you want to know how to dimension your part. So let's go over here and say, let's say I'm making a coax. I'm going to go and pick a coaxial. And I want it basically to have a 75 ohm impedance, so it's going to tell me what dimensions I need. So I can be com computing the dimensions that I need 
in this mini tool and using that to design and to draw my model. Uh, ultimately, when this is, uh, will be released, we'll be able to create an assembly or insert your design straight into the assembly from this mini tool. Okay. So this is a, in a, a nutshell, gives you a brief idea about uh, uh, HFWorks, the capabilities that it has. We invite you to visit our website www.emworks.com for more, de for more details and to see some of the benchmarks and the examples that we have and uh, read up on some of the success stories that our clients have had with this software. And I thank you very much for your attention.